Contraceptives and morning after pills have been handed out at U.S. pop star Olivia Rodrigo's concert in Missouri, where abortion is banned. Concert goers could pick up free condoms and emergency contraception from stands at the venue in St. Louis. Last month, the driver's license singer launched the Fund for Good campaign, a global initiative for people seeking reproductive health freedom. Birth control, such as morning after pills, are legal in the U.S. But abortions in the U.S. state of Missouri are illegal, with exceptions of saving a pregnant woman's life or preventing risk to physical health. A proceed of profits from Rodrigo's tour, which has partnered with the National Network of Abortion Funds, will go towards Fund for Good. An activist from Right by You, a text line which helps teens find abortion care outside Missouri, told The Guardian Rodrigo had invited the charities, but it was their choice to distribute contraceptives. Republican Missouri State Senator Bill Igel posted on X that the singer should be ashamed for handing out an abortifacient, a drug which causes abortion. However morning after pills prevent, not end, pregnancy, and the NHS website says, emergency contraception can stop you getting pregnant after unprotected sex. You need to use emergency contraception within three to five days of having unprotected sex. MSI Reproductive Choices, a non-government organization which provides contraception and abortion services in 37 countries, told BBC News it's great to see Olivia Rodrigo using her platform to shine a light on the importance of reproductive choice. But it can never replace being able to access high-quality sexual and reproductive health care services from a trusted provider when and where you need it, they added. It's not the first time Rodrigo has made her stance on abortion public. What is Roe v. Wade ruling on abortion? Read more about the U.S. abortion debate. She used her Glastonbury debut in 2022 to protest against the overturning of Roe v. Wade which removed the federal right to abortion the anti-abortion movement celebrated a landmark victory, while pro-choice activists warned of a looming public health crisis. Bringing on Lily Allen, the pair sang one of Allen's expletive-filled tracks. I'm devastated and terrified that so many women and so many girls are going to die because of this, said Rodrigo. I wanted to dedicate this next song to the five members of the Supreme Court who have showed us that at the end of the day, they truly don't care about freedom. Thanks for watching my video please subscribe my YouTube channel thank you.